It's CEO here, and cooking is coming to Animal Crossing. In the October 15th Direct, it was announced that you can now cook various recipes, including sandwiches, soups, and cakes. This ability comes along with the addition of new vegetables, including tomatoes, carrots, potatoes, sugarcane, and wheat. I know you're excited to cook in Animal Crossing, and I will teach you everything you need to know right now. With any good recipe, you need to start with good ingredients. You already know you can grow pumpkins in bunches of one, two, or three. If you need help with this, check out my pumpkin video. With the 2.0 update, you will also be able to grow sugarcane, tomatoes, potatoes, wheat, and carrots. This means that all these new plants will be part of recipes that you can cook and then eat. In the announcement, we can see all the new vegetables will have the same growing pattern as pumpkins, where the amount you water them determines how many will grow. You will want to grow three of each vegetable per harvest. My pumpkin video goes over all of this in detail, so you can grow all the vegetables you'll need so you have enough to start cooking. But before you can start cooking, you will also need to visit the kiosk in Resident Services and buy the Be A Chef DIY Recipes Plus for 2,000 Nook Miles. This will be the starting set of foods you can make, with more cooking DIYs being added to the game later, most likely as part of seasonal festivities like Turkey Day, the festive season, and even Easter with some tasty chocolate recipes using eggs. You'll know you'll be able to cook food when you see the Nook Phone DIY app has a whisk on it. Here we can see the foods you'll be able to make, including pumpkin soup, minestrone soup, salad, mushroom salad, pasta, french fries, chicken tenders, buns, sandwiches, pickles, bagels, breads, calzones, pizza, fish, drinks, and more. In the recipe bar, we can see three new icons, a food platter, a slice of cake, and a whisk tool. This means you'll be able to cook savory dishes, sweet dishes, and make designated cooking tools like a whisk, spoon, spatula, and more. You'll be able to make fancier dishes by making these kitchen tools, and then you can also place them as an item in your house or outside to put the finishing touches on any kitchen build you make. At the top, we can see flour and sugar, which you'll need to use as base ingredients to make more complex dishes. And since you can grow wheat and sugarcane, you'll need to harvest enough of those plants to then cook into the flour and sugar. This cooking mechanic has been really thought out and rivals even the best cooking simulators. To get started, you'll need to grow at least nine of each vegetable, including pumpkins, so you have enough ingredients to start cooking. We can also see here that mushrooms will be an ingredient you can cook with, so when the mushroom season starts in November, you need to keep your eyes peeled for them. Watch my mushroom video to find out more so you can get cooking. In October, we also see candy and lollipops as an item you can buy and eat, so it's very likely that we'll see some cooking recipes that also require that candy and lollipop to cook them. So you'll want to stock up on candy and lollipops while they're being sold in Nook's Cranny throughout October, because after October, you won't be able to find them, and then you won't be able to cook those certain sweet recipes. The same as pumpkins, all these harvestable vegetables will grow year-round, so you'll always be able to grow some when you want to cook. The cooking recipes are considered DIYs, but you can't just use any DIY table to cook. You'll need a special kitchen DIY table, like the stonework kitchen we see here. Aside from it looking so authentic and amazing, you'll be able to go up to it and start cooking. The mechanic will be the same as when you make DIYs, but instead, you'll have to make sure you have all the necessary ingredients and vegetables in your pocket to make the recipe. Here you see the minestrone soup recipe. It looks like a typical DIY, but the materials are now foods. You can also see this small platter icon, which means once this food is in your pockets, it will appear as a silver platter. The background of this food DIY also looks like a tablecloth, which is a nice attention to detail. If you make too many food items at once, you'll be able to put them in your storage for later. Although it would make more sense if you could put them in a refrigerator for storage, but it looks like all storage is just lumped together, food and items. Many of these food items you can make appear to be what villagers can hold and eat while walking around your island. It does look like the food items you cook will be available for you to hold and eat so you can finally match with your villagers. We can also see that you'll be able to preserve various ingredients in jars, including fish. Preserving food will probably be another cooking DIY, so you want to look out for that so you can preserve your food so they don't go rotten. Just like turnips, they do rot after a week, so it is possible that the food items will rot if you don't use them right away. It's also likely we will see turnips to be used as an ingredient in these food recipes. In addition to using the vegetables to make food items, You'll also be able to make regular items such as this harvest basket filled with food that you can place outside and inside. Once you have all your food cooked, you can even eat them to gain power to dig up trees. By eating one piece of fruit or mushroom or turnip, you only gain one power. But when you eat cooked recipes, you gain five power. 
This is great if you want to dig up a lot of trees, but don't want to stand there eating one piece of fruit at a time. Eating a cooked food recipe will be like eating five pieces of fruit at once. Of course, if you eat too much, you can always use the toilet to relieve yourself. Collecting vegetables and ingredients is crucial if you want to start cooking in Animal Crossing New Horizons. You can store up to 10 vegetables in one inventory slot to save room. You can also dig up your vegetables and plants when you want to move them on your island. This feature is so exciting because it introduces new gameplay and you can finally build a functioning farm on your island with produce you can harvest and a multitude of farm-related items like scarecrows, shovels, silos, and wheelbarrows. All these features get added to New Horizons on November 5th, so be sure to update your game on that date. Comment down below what food you will cook first once the game gets updated. I will definitely be making that mushroom salad first. It looks so tasty and will help use up my hoard of mushrooms in my storage. This update has so much more that I couldn't cover in this video. So if you want to learn more, subscribe to my channel for more update videos. This update is everything we wanted and more to see in Animal Crossing, and it's coming so soon. It's so hard to wait. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.